different hours also from the curvature and the structure. The plans would do. Pardon? The plans would tell you without any doubt. The yeah. Really. Probably, yeah. Not, not the probability, it yeah. must be. I don't know, but I just conclude that since it's beyond the 35 stories, I suppose it's just different hours. Yes, please. So, so can, yeah, but can you compare because every one is a different case? It's like comparing anything or what? Yeah, you mean that you cannot yeah, compare yeah. high rises yeah. because they're all different? Yeah, but it's like, it's like anything or what? Well, well, just if I understand you correctly, you're saying that you cannot compare no, different no, high rises because they're all different. Pardon? Anything in life, you know, it's like any subject in life, you can't compare, it's all different. Yeah. Same with this case. Am I understanding correctly? Yeah. Am I understanding you correctly that you're saying you cannot compare different high rises because they are all different? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah. You know, that is true. Of course. Yeah. That is true. I mean, but if you take it as a bed, a steel frame high rise has never collapsed due to five. There's been more than 400 high rises. And I can also show you experiments actually performed. I've taken them out by British Steel on the Carrington test site from 1993 to 19 to 2001. They actually built an eight-story steel construction and uh, subjected it to fire seven times under completely controlled conditions. And uh, in the worst-case scenario, they had gas temperatures of 1,200 degrees and temperatures measured in the steel of 1100 degrees where it's actually it's like spaghetti it's, it's lost all of its strength and still the stuff to remain there but I mean if you were um, of course it's correct that all the things are different is that 1100 still, Fahrenheit or the Celsius? Event is such a steel fed high rise that has never collapsed yes please uh, up until 1972, it was acceptable in New York City to have your columns and beams um, protected with uh, asbestos. Yeah. After 1972, uh, preventing that was, uh, the, uh, was the product of choice. Um, columns being uh, protected up to four hours, beams two hours. Yeah. But I actually, actually, as quite naively, I don't understand why you have fire protection still be because they don't collapse no matter if it's either protected or not. So, and I think that the, as I just reported the the British steel Carlington test, these were unprotected steel beams with temperatures of eleven hundred degrees and still they did not collapse. I understand that you can delay the heating process if you have insulation. But apparently steel frame high rises just don't collapse due to fire. And neither do they collapse due to earthquake or anything. Steel frame high rises just don't collapse. How did the towers collapse? How did the towers Between collapse? Towers, yes. they collapse. Why did they Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's proceed. So this is this is this is um, the still the the Peking TV headquarters view from another side where you can see how small the people are. This is compared to the Mandarin Hotel. We have the summary regarding fires here. The steel fed high rise, and this is some, my conclusion, just does not collapse due to fire. I think it is, you must, we have done the experiment. The experiment has been done. Steel fed high rises has been exposed to fires more than 400 times, and in no case has they ever collapsed. I mean, that's it. This is what the scientists want. We're doing the experiments, and we are drawing the conclusion based on that. And if somebody comes along and says, maybe it happened this time, I will say that the random small fires cannot. You cannot expect sudden onset due to them. The random small fires, you cannot expect symmetrical collapse. Free fall observation implies that all of the steel columns were cut simultaneously within milliseconds. A fire could never do that. There's no way around this observation. Total collapse all the way down. So we have something called the scientific method. It might sound very academic, 
but it is not. It's just common sense. What you do, you make observations without prejudice. You, you come up with a hypothesis. You test your hypothesis against the observations, against the data. And if your model does not fit the data, it is wrong, no matter how sophisticated it is. And you ask, are all the observations explained? And there can observations be predicted. Can you take down a high rise if you just start a fire in some office somewhere? You could patent this method. It would be a very cheap way of demolishing high rises. <laughs> now, if you're not, you have to come up with a new hypothesis. And this is the situation we are in here with taking intervention, and I will provide, suggest, come with a new hypothesis after the intervention. Thank you. There's uh, food and drinks available in the foyer, and um, I'll also remind you that we had from the Hard Evans tour, which was the most successful Hard Evans tour in Hard Evans Truth history, just um, last November, we had the presentation from Stephen A. Jones, uh, Doctor of Physics, who was the man that really took the scientific challenge on at 9 11 first back in 2006. That DVD is for sale um, for $10. The cost of production of that DVD was about $10,000. So you're getting it at a very cheap price. So if you'd like to buy anything, there's merchandise and food and drink out there and uh, donations are uh, greatly appreciated. Harry would have been, I'd like to say something. I'd just like to make a quick announcement just before everyone uh, goes to the intermission that uh, this event cost a lot of money and most of it was put together by John Bursal. And uh, we, we made it a free event because we really wanted to get people to come tonight. But uh, there's significant costs. So there is a donation bucket and uh, if you can put something in, uh, if everyone could put you know, a certain amount in, it would probably cover all the costs. So uh, just really uh, have a think about that. that that's all. Cheers.